roads that charge the electric car as it's driving over them. Uh, so, quick thoughts on this idea. Probably, probably looks like a really good idea. Um, I completely disagree with it. Here's why. So, all things being equal, is there anything wrong with having a road that happens to also charge an electric car as it drives over it? No. No, not necessarily. Except that the road is not under the driver's control. It's under the control of the city and the state. So here's what would happen if you actually did that. If you had cars that got charged just by driving over roads, first off, the only roads that would initially do that are all the paved city roads, freeways, highways, and stuff, you know. Uh, people who live out in the country can just suck it. Um, the other thing that would happen is that car manufacturers would be like, oh, well, you know, this is a city car and most people driving it are probably going to be, you know, constantly charging their battery over the roads they drive anyway. So in addition to just making batteries smaller because they're more efficient, which, you know, that has happened. Some batteries have gotten smaller and yet they hold more. But if there isn't as much need for as much power, then they'll start making electric cars with batteries that are even smaller. They'll be like, well, you're charging the car as you're driving it anyway, so we don't really need to have, like, this huge store of power so we can, you know, make room for other things, you know, luxury items and more storage and, you know, maybe add more seating. So then you'll get cars that have, you know, a fair amount of battery uh, when you're not driving over the, uh, the, the city roads, right? But then you'll notice other things will start to happen, like... Um, you know, so the roads that do the charging will see the most traffic, right? And cities, local, state governments will realize this, and so will businesses. And so then they'll be like, oh, so all the businesses that happen to be on roads that don't do the electric charging get less business because you'll be like, well, I could drive there, but it won't charge my car and I'll have to use my battery. I don't want to do that. So you'll automatically limit yourself to the roads that charge, and governments will see this. And so anytime the government doesn't really want you to go somewhere, they will just use an older style of road that doesn't charge your car. And then it'll be like, oh, I'm on battery. I only got like 60 miles on battery, you know. Which, you know, if you're living in the city, 60 miles on battery in a city where all the roads charge your car, that doesn't sound so bad. Right? Until you want to go camping. Until you want to leave the city, and then suddenly you're like on a freeway, uh, but the freeway isn't charging. You're like, oh, I've only got 60 miles. I can go on this freeway. Gosh, I hope that, uh, you know, I hope I, hope I hit uh, a charging road here soon. And then if, you know, after, you know, 40 some miles or something of not hitting a charging road, you're going to be like, I, I, I got to turn back. Right? That's, that's, that's the problem. So what you want for electric cars, you want users to, or the, you want the, the automobile owner to be in charge of their own uh, charging. Like you want the car to have energy independence, not dependence on a charging road, which is what would happen. If, if, you, let the, if you let the roads charge the cars, then cars will eventually become dependent because car manufacturers will just start assuming that, you know, Either all the roads are or will be charging, and then they'll make cars with weaker batteries because, you know, you don't really need that much of a battery if, if the road you're driving over is always charging it anyway. So that'll be one issue that I see. A better idea is whatever the, wherever the electricity comes from, make sure that the owner is in charge of it. So, like, if you put, you know... Either, um, either you make the batteries, like, smaller, but, like, module. Like, you can put in, um, I don't know, 30 or 40 modules of battery packs. You know what I mean? Because uh, in that way, you know, it's easy for, or, or, you know, you just have one big battery pack, you put it in, right? But, like, the user can always have a spare in the, in the, in the back. 
But not only can you give them a spare, right? So if the battery dies, they're like, oh, no, I'm stranded. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I got a spare battery. So that'd be a good idea. I think maybe um, solar panels aren't there yet, but when they are there, you know, putting them on the roof, that'll be an easy fix. Another thing uh, potentially worth doing is um, give users... Mm, find some way to give users easy, portable ways to charge batteries. Either, you know, you buy a nice big solar panel, charges uh, your car battery. Uh, even if you can't put it on top of the car, you know, you can always have it in the back there. So wherever the user is, they're never actually stranded uh, if they're not on a paved road. Um, I mean, I'm sure that there's pl plenty of ideas for, you know, how a user can be in charge of of charging their own car. But anyway, that's the idea, though. You, that's what you'd want. You'd want them to be in charge of of getting the electricity and charging their own car. You don't want uh, you don't want them to be dependent on the city to build the right kind of road. 